हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्वात इन हज़ारा रीजन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द टेक्टोनिक्स ऑफ द स्वात इन हज़ारा रीजन एंड दैट इज़ द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द जियोलॉजी ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड अंडर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ टेक्टोनिक्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड इन दिस लेक्चर इट इज़ द फर्दर डिटेल ऑफ दैट रीजन स्वात एंड हज़ारा रीजन बट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस about the naps of the area and a nap is a, another feature in the tectonics of pakistan or uh, or according to the subject uh, tectonics first of all uh, i will try to give you detail about the nap what is nap so the definition of nap is that any rock body which is moved from initial place due to the tectonics so remember students that and viewers what is nap nap is a uh, any rock body which is moved from initial place due to the tectonics tectonics mean uh, due to the uh, movement of plates and the example of nap in swat and hazara region is himalaya and the minimum uh, range or the minimum limit of the nap is about 10 km in the example of the nap in pakistan or in swat and hazara region is mohammad and swat nap there are igneous and metamorphic rocks so the lithology of the mohammad and swat nap is igneous and metamorphic rocks and these are the fragments of indian plate on the basement of the mohammad and swat nap there are maglur formation and the age of the uh, maglur formation is late proterozoic and the lithology of the maglur formation is schist and gneiss the first example of a nap in pakistan which is mohammad in swat nap and we have told that on the basement of the mohammad in swat nap there are maglur formation and lithology of the maglur formation is schist and gneiss and the age of the maglur formation is lead proterozoic so the on the uh, on the west of swat area or uh, on the west of swat region there are dargai cliff and dargai cliff is also the example of nap or it is uh, looking like nap on the east of swat region there are puran fault and the puran fault is the boundary between swat and bisham area and uh, the puran fault central fault it means there are thrust fault uh, but the it is the example of thrust fault or central fault or we can say that the puran fault is actually the thrust fault the central fault is the uh, example or feature or branch of thrust fault in the swat region there are the oldest rocks in bisham area and the age of the um, bisham rocks are 2 billion years and the most lithology of the bisham rocks are metamorphic rocks so the oldest rocks in this region are in bisham area which which is about 2 billion years ago or the age of that rocks are 2 billion years and the main lithology is metamorphic rocks and on the basement of uh, these rocks is a schist and gneiss are present so it is the oldest rocks in bisham area after that there are uh, karora group karora rock group is uh, our line basement of uh, bisham area and after that Uh, after karora group there are amlo conglomerate and it is the uh, unconformity and i have told about the angular unconformity in previous lecture if we found angular unconformity anywhere so it is the example of tectonic activity or we can imagine that uh, it is the tectonic episode so amlo conglomerate is the example of angular unconformity and to the east of bisham nap there are thakot fault and thakot fault is uh, also strike slip fault and it is a dextral fault uh, feature in uh, bisham nap is that there are window like feature so remember that to the east of uh, bisham nap there are thakot fault which is dextral and strike slip fault on the east of uh, uh, bisham there are hazara nap and uh, in hazara nap there are tanol formation and the important and uh, main lithology is swat granite and uh, viewers remember that in hazara nap there are inverted metamorphic rocks in hazara nap there are uh, 
tunnel formation and above tunnel formation there are abdabad formation and there are mansera thrust in this area and in mansera thrust there are uh, different metamorphic rocks in every thrust sheet so uh, there are uh, sheeted like structure and in every uh, thrust sheet there are different metamorphic rocks are present and uh, on the east of hazara nap there are balakot shear zone which is called kagan nap so we can also uh, call balakot shear zone or kagan nap and kagan nap uh, which is separated from hazara nap by balakot shear zone so it is separated from uh, kagan nap by balakot shear zone or we can say that hazara nap is separated from kagan nap by balakot shear zone in kagan nap there are bottle fault between kagan zone and balakot shear zone and the lithology of the kagan zone is uh, lower graded metamorphic rocks and uh, the lithology of the balakot shear zone is high graded metamorphic rocks and after that uh, viewers there are mct capital mct and viewers mct is the geological term and uh, it is the abbreviation of main central thrust and the example of main central thrust are present in uh, 11 places in pakistan there are about 11 places which are the examples of mct in pakistan on the north of hazara there are banna nap and the main lithology of the banna nap is uh, metamorphic rocks and there are feature uh, like opposite versions and opposite versions means there are break break thrusting so opposite versions means the opposite of thrust fault or we can uh, say that break thrusting of rocks east of kagan there are nanga parbat nap so viewers it is all about the uh, naps in pakistan which are present uh, all and um, all over in the northern areas of pakistan and we have discussed about the swat in hazara region and we have discussed about the naps of swat in hazara region and viewers uh, all the naps are the fragments of indian plate uh, as you know that and i have discussed that the uh, himalayas are uh, uh, formed collision of uh, indian and eurasian plate and plates collides in paleocene age sorry students uh, i mean that formation of himalaya starts in eocene so remember that formation of himalaya starts in eocene but plate collides in paleocene age so first deformation starts in eocene age but plates collides in paleocene age and uh, fourth deformation starts in miocene age and the uh, weathering of himalaya starts so it is all about the um, collision of the indian and eurasian plates and uh, the result of the um, collision of the indian and eurasian plates are himalayas and i have uh, told you all naps are the fragments of indian plates so i hope students you will enjoy all of this information about the swat and hazara region and the naps of pakistan which is present are which are present in the swat and hazara region now thank you for watching my videos please, please subscribe my channel and share my videos and like and if you have any uh, feedback or idea to improve my uh, video quality so please give me feedback i will wait for your positive feedback thank you